In this video, we'll be looking at the image select found in the lesson activity toolkit in the activities. Let's go have a look at an example of the image select. In this example, we need to click on the picture and it will stop and give us three options that we can choose from. Click on the incorrect one and it tells you and you get another chance to click. Once you click on the correct one, it then carries on randomizing the pictures. And there you finish it. Let's have a look at what makes up this activity. Firstly, we have the question mark on the top right. This explains about the activity and what we can do. We then have the edit button. This allows me to change the setup. I can have three images all the way up to 18 images. In this instance, we have six. We simply drag in the images or pictures that we're going to use and simply type on and change the words that we're going to use. Then we have the label select or handwriting. For handwriting, you can only use single words. In this example, I have two, three words, so it gives me a warning and tells me that it can't be used in this because I can't have any spaces between the words that I'm going to use. In our example, we'll have a look at using handwriting for the lesson. You can add a password. I suggest not using a password as we often forget what the password is and then you can't go and change that activity later. So where would we find the image select? In our gallery tab under the lesson activity toolkit. You can go and look at the example that's given or you can click on the activities and go to image select. Below you'll see the six different colored image selects that we can use. You can either drag it on or double click and it'll appear. Here is an example that I'm going to build. I've gone and pre-selected my five pictures. I've chosen five images once I pressed edit. Now I just simply drag them in. When the block turns yellow, I release and that sucks in my pictures. I then go click on the block and type. Remember that they don't have a cursor flashing here, so you just have to type and see where you're typing. I've chosen label select, so when I click OK and I click on the picture now, it'll give me the three options that I need to use. If you choose an incorrect one, give you a red cross and you get to choose again. Now if I had chosen handwriting, it would change slightly. The students can come up to the board and they need to write in the specific area. So You'd pick up your pen and then you would write. You then click on the letters and see if it's correct. You then go choose your next one and you simply write over And click on the block. For this activity you can use any image, any picture that you bring in. You can actually use text and drag it in. So if you want to use fractions or certain shapes you can drag it in. You can bring in dates from text. You can bring in handwriting and you can even bring in drawings. It all depends what you want to do and how you want to put it in. Just remember when we add those pictures they are going to shrink. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by the Technology Training Academy.